Good kitten internet. Let's go ahead and get back into more Wild Arms 2 now that audio is working. Uh, yeah, retro achievements are still having problems. Ah, uh, you know what? I'm actually going to figure that out. One moment. All right, now they should actually be working. Apparently it decided that I no longer needed a password. It just had a blank password sitting there for no reason. No reason at all. That's cool. <sighs> also, in theory... Ooh. I had audio on my side turned up really high. Um, in theory, my frame-dropping woes should no longer be present. Um, ooh, I have a bit of static on my right side because there's not enough light. Um, let me... Not enough light on that side of the green screen. There we go. Oh, the trials and tribulations of somebody who wants to share their video games with the interwebs. Um, also, let's go ahead and reset the frame counter. Because some of that... Oh, no. I do actually still have a couple of hiccups, but they're really minor by comparison. There we go. I mean, I have dropped two frames. Normally it was more like about, oh, the previous time when I had fixed most of it, it was about 40 at this point. Ah, we'll see. Stupid weird issues. Okay, where were we? Right, we were going to do all of the random monster, or random boss style monsters. Ah, uh, what do we have next? I actually made a small list for myself. Uh, Zavork. That's the one I want to go after next. That's in the meteorite crater. So Vorg is weak against an element. That's cool. I'm trying to remember. Zavorg. What was with Zavorg? There was something weird about Zavorg. What was it? Ah, uh, this is gonna bother me. Anyway, Meteorite Crater. Oh, way down there. Meow. Oh. How goes? He soon's out and about, but hasn't even said hi to me today. Uh, that's okay. It's over here. You know, this place. There's loot here. I missed loot. Well, darn it! I didn't even see what it was. Hmm. Tempted to reload just so I could see what it is. Yeah, that was like half a frame, and I accidentally hit a button right at that moment. Yep. Oh! My last save state was from the previous boss. One moment, let me go undo that save state. I am so glad they have that feature. Undo load state. Because I'm just going to actually load the game instead. And then save state after I've loaded the game, because uh, I don't want that to happen. Uh, where's my save game? Okay, you know what? I don't need to watch that. I have no idea what it is. I'm not going to know. I've likely corrupted that save. Cool. Just waiting for it to catch up in the 
in OBS, because OBS is a little slow at recognizing when I have actually re-full screened RetroArch for some reason. There we go. All right. Who are you again? Giant armored bugs of Org. Big bad Beetleborgs? Anyway. Hot. That's a lot of broken textures on that bug. It's gonna be weak against darkness by the color. I remember this enemy now. Into magic. Actually, you know what? We're gonna buy some magic rings. I'm going to finally do what I keep trying to remember to do, which is buy enough magic rings for everyone. I hit cancel, but apparently not fast enough. Ashley's normal attack is the same as Cannon's. Ugh. Why is Cannon so bad in this game? <sighs> She's such a cool character, potentially. I'm stuck, okay. Valeria uh, Chateau. I think it's basement two, it might be basement one, I don't remember which. Basement one. I have no use for money. Okay. Go to the first floor. Save. Yeah, I am missing that save now. Just out of curiosity. Just saving in a random spot elsewhere. Yeah, I've definitely not spent an hour and a half here. No, don't want to continue my game. By the way, this is where the little end thing comes in. So pretty. Especially the Disc 2 one. Um, in Wild Arms 3, they actually show the stats of your party when you do this. And there's, I want to say, four of them? Because Wild Arms, so Wild Arms 2 is definitely set up more like an anime, where there's like an evolving intro type of thing, where you have the first half of the season, the second half of the season, for like a 26 episode anime series. Um... Well, ooh, I just noticed that my corner, that's that corner. Oh, I see why. Because it's leaning the wrong direction. Um, so yeah, as I was saying, Wild Arms 2 is set up more like a 26 episode anime series. Um, and they did that because they had two discs. And since they would have had to have loaded the same video on both discs, that kind of makes sense. Um, 
don't want to exit. I want to unfull screen. Um, reset. There we go. Uh, so in Wild Arms 3, everything's one disc, but they decided to keep that trend going with an evolving intro throughout the game, and it's one of my favorite aspects of the game. It's divided up into chapters, which would kind of correspond with seasons. It's neat. I like it. All right. Do we have that missing save back? Otherwise, I'll just use the save that I have here. No, we do not. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to save back in the right spot. This will be only slightly different than the actual start of game save. And we'll go from here. I'm going to just restart the recording, but that's okay. Maybe I can go frame by frame to figure out what in the world it actually said. I have a hunch that we will not need to clean out the memory card again. Also, can I just look to see what I have inventory-wise? Not easily. I mean, I'm going to guess it's an apple of some variety. Hmm, this is gonna bother me, but I can't check without stopping the recording. So if I would have to make a guess, it's the strength apple. Actually, I should be able to look this up one moment. Nope, couldn't figure it out. Oh. I will have to tell... Dang, I always walk into the elevator. It's because this place is not conducive to just saving and exiting. I should probably pick a different location to save and exit at, but that's okay. The game's almost over, after all. Alright. I could teleport closer. This is probably faster. Yes, I see. Would you like to join me? You would? Aww. Everybody on the internet would love to look at you. See? think I'm playing this up. No, this is actually the way I normally act with my cats. Aww. If you want, you can be on my lap. It's okay. Anyway, so the thing I remember about this boss is that it's immune to magic. But, that's not that big of a deal for us since we have rings of every element now. And I'm pretty sure it's weak against dark. Well, this would be actually a great time for me to have my USB webcam, but that's not functional at the moment. I could have set up my, um, whatchamacallit, uh, uh, cell phone as a camera, but I don't think that's going to be all that useful. Okay. We're not going to need any of you. So if you're Justine, I mean, Raftina at least gives strength. 436 is better strength. Starry Row is strictly better. Chapanga is actually better. We're using Chapanga. Uh, no auto battle for a hidden boss, thank you very much. Alright, we only have melee fighters. We don't get to use this group very often because I like casters. Get out of that belly! So I need, yep, I'm correct, it is red. 34, 58, crit, or 11,000. Ah, you increase your index, that's annoying. Um, Cannon, I want you to use our lucky card before I forget. No, 
No, that's not it. Another crit. Nice. I feel like I'm gonna need a dispel soon. I don't know if it's immune to dispel or if it's just immune to damage. Uh, I might as well equip Lilka with Athena. You now have dispel. Zipborg. Punch. Dispel. Miss. My gods, Brad! There's an achievement. Ow! That's a problem. Alright, Loka just needs to survive, then I'll swap her out. She's not surviving this. Yeah, no. I can revive fruit all day, game. Especially now that I can access. I soon decided to leave. Oh well, it is his option. Just let Loka live, dang it. Are you kidding me? Like I said, I can do this all day, I just don't want to. 9,000 damage. Just let her live for one turn. Sure. I mean, that's going to suck, but... I think that's actually less damage, but I want him to actually use all of his first ability. I'm pretty sure Mad Lucid doesn't inherit elements, but let's find out. It does not. Okay. And instead... 7,000 damage? Brad would be dead from that. Powering up again. Although nothing happened that time. Gunblaze we know is fire element. We're just going to go back to punch. Counterattack. I appreciate that. Okay, instead again. As if killing the rogue impresses me. about dead about now. Death did. Everybody's alive. 150,000 XP, 250,000 Gela. Everybody levels up some. Always nice. Brosia and Black Queen. Oh yeah, I could have pickpocketed a mini carrot. Seriously, game, I can buy those. Oh, I actually didn't mean to save, but that's fine. Zavorg has been defeated. Zavorg! Ah. It's unfortunate that I'm going to be missing those achievements now. I might actually go back through with some of my saves and actually get the achievements properly. Just because it bothers me when I get an achievement and I've actually beaten it. Anyway, um... Oh, I closed my notepad plus plus window. Why did I do something silly like that? We have defeated Zavorg. We only have the hard ones left. Oh boy, Xenon is probably the next that I should go after. 
Xenon is not easy, if I remember right. Ah, uh, yeah, Xenon is the one that I usually equip. Yep, I remember. So Xenon is a light element. Um, he is weak against dark, but he hits so freaking hard you need to have light rings equipped to survive anything. Because that will allow you to resist the damage, which means you'll take half, and that means you're only taking like 3,500 damage a hit instead of 7,000. Ugh. Okay. Also, it causes paralysis, just for fun! Why can't I have more than one of the status effect items in the game? Alright. What's people's luck like right now? Best luck, best luck, worst luck, best luck, worst luck, best luck. Huh, that's a lot of best luck. Luck. If I had enough tiny flowers, no, I would need a bunch of teddy bears. Never mind. Forgot, because every time you level up, it rerolls your luck, which is dumb, and I don't understand why they do that. Okay, we need to heal. There we go, now we're healed. <sighs> Xenon. It's better for me to teleport. I know where Xenon is. I don't need to look up anything about him. Because I definitely remember Xenon. It's impossible for me not to remember Xenon. Oh, I can't land in this all? Oh, yeah, I can. Okay. Alright. Uh... First off. Light rings. What is it, Kitty? That's right, we also got Loka's best weapon, might as well equip it. The Black Queen! I mean, I'm not going to attack with Loka. Alright, it's over on the right, we've already seen it. Safe states are handy. So, the three remaining hidden bosses are the hardest bosses in the game. Two of them are the hottest, hardest bosses in the game from Wild Arms 1, but this is a giant monster of light, Xenon. So I'm going to be starting with... Ooh, I actually meant to do Marigold and not Tim. It's okay, I can change equipment and so on. So I'm going to be starting this way. Because I need Marigold to start casting some useful spells on us. Though, maybe I should have it be Tim instead of Loco to start, but that's okay. So you know, you'll notice that this will do very little damage. That's fine. I'm not trying to do damage at this stage. What I'm trying to do is get Ashley's force level up. I could use... Well, I think about it, that would probably be better if I just used carrots. 
Because once I get up to Mad Lucid stage, I have a non-elemental attack now, and this isn't a problem. Um... So, this is actually one of the bosses that I was the person who came up with the initial strategies for, which was to have Brad out, because Brad actually has enough hit points to survive an attack, and have Brad do all of the damage to fight him. I don't necessarily agree with that anymore. I'm going to try doing this a different way. Because I have Marin. Status lock. Lilka. Actually, French Zap. I, this is one way to find out if French Zap actually does. Xenon Ray Force. Alright, this is where everything goes straight to hell. Yep. 3,500 damage. Yes, Branch Zap does keep element. Good. Okay, that's something I needed to know. If I use Invincible, I can't target Luka with anything. Uh, okay. How do I do this? I think I'm going to restart the battle. have Tim in there. Again, though, we are going to be into Light Ring off of Lilka. Yeah, that's the problem with using the Necronomicon, is that you can't equip anything else. And that stinks. Okay. Let's try this. Actually... I want Ashley with Zephyr. So my goal is to try and get everyone with status lock that I can. So I don't have to worry about status effects. So what it's going to be is that Tim and Marivel will be out constantly. I'm going to status lock the two of them first. Because Tim can actually full heal the entire group. Marivel can continue status locking. And then I will rotate through the last character. This is my current plan. Don't know if this would <laughs> accidentally hit load state, but that's fine. All right. Hmm. I forgot to move the healing ability again. You know what? Screw it. I'm actually going to remember to do it now. While we're at it, let's actually finish sorting you. So you've got a lot of weird abilities now, sitting at the bottom. see this intro so many times. I swear the silhouette makes it look like an elephant. Oh wait, it looks like an elephant. Alright. I can actually FP shift with Tim. For the first turn. I can't do it any other turn, that's for sure. Status lock yourself. Ashley. Force charge. You're barriering on the first turn. It looks like it's something that they consistently do. That's fine. It doesn't do anything right now. Status lock. Alright, Maryville's now immune to paralysis. FP shift, which will bring Ashley to green already, which is the whole point. Tim, just start first aiding. Maryville, you are going to status lock Tim. Ashley, access. In on Ray Force. That hurts, but I can heal from that. I don't know if 
I can fully heal though now that I think about it. Marivol. Status lock, Ashley. Ashley, you need to attack and do no damage. Nope, I can't fully heal from it. Which means Tim's down now. Crap! Oh, that does not work for my plan at all. Still gonna try my plan. Stick Mecha Berry, that will heal everybody up. Marvel! Status lock. Ashley, now that you have a decent amount. Uh, Mad loose the belly. I haven't even gone yet! Okay, nope, this plan's not gonna work. Okay. I could have Lilka just do this every turn. Because she's getting enough force back from getting hit by the Xenon Rainforce where she could just Mystic every turn. I need a lot more Mega Berries to do that. I think. I do have Ambrosias too. Okay, maybe we will go with Lilka instead of Tim. Sorry, Tim. You're awesome and all, but you can't heal enough is the problem. Not without a Necronomicon equipped, and that will kill you. Isn't this exciting? Okay, I have the first round for free. It's the second round that I'm going to start having Lilka do her thing means the first round, I get to cast something of my choice. I think it's going to be Pipe Weapon. Status lock. Loka. Ashley, use Force Charger. Rainforest. Mega Berry. Mega Berry. Status lock. Access. Ooh. Not what I was expect. Ah, crap. Ah. Okay, this doesn't work. I'm gonna try. Wait, no, that's a dumb idea. I need somebody who can AoE heal. And I only have two characters who can do that. I forgot to equip the stupid ring. Alright, you know what? We're going to make a proper save. You know what? I wonder what 
what this person says now. Oh, I can't even land here. I can only teleport. Ah, Courtly. Cheese this one. I think I might have to. Okay, miracle. Do you even have the cheese spell? No! What the hell? Am I actually missing that ability? Since when? Where's that ability at? They're from man traps. The thing that we've encountered the most in the game. How did I miss this? Man traps, as in the thing that we were constantly using to make Ashley forget all of his worries. Those things. How did I not grab that before? Let's try this again, shall we? I think we're gonna have to chase this, which... I don't like chasing this one too much, but... So, fun thing is that the only way in the game to inflict the sleep status effect upon an enemy is by using Maraville's sleep ability. The game devs forgot about Maraville, which means nothing has resistance to it. For those of you that have played lots of older Final Fantasy games, this should sound awfully familiar. Brad instead of Ashley because Brad can actually survive a hit. Not very well, but Brad can survive a hit. Which means, yep, Dark Ring is what I want, and probably gonna end up being Justine. Uh, yeah, I think Zephyr would actually be better in this case. I don't need Brad fast. It's not going to be as fast as Xenon. Wait a second. Just 
stunned on me. Oh, so something I should mention. The whole power boost ability, this thing, it's not just increasing strength. It actually has a chance of doing double damage. We've been seeing that occasionally happen with Tim. Because Tim had it equipped for a while. Although I think it might actually be better for me to use the Necronomicon. Yeah. So the reason why I'm doing this is that it's a free cheap shot early on. Sleep is the very last ability. It costs five. Red, punch the belly. Besides, we haven't seen all this on the Negative zone. Although I think we have seen this one. Yeah, we have. does quite a bit of damage. As does Brad punching something. That looked like it worked. Yes, it did. Okay. Save. Saved. Okay. Tim, get out. We have Wilka now. Weapon. Brad. Maravel. Your job is the status lock. I'm gonna have you status lock yourself. Brad. Punch the belly. Still asleep. Maybe? Can't tell if still asleep or not. Let's assume not. It was not. So how much damage is Brad taking? 66.43. Dang, that's a lot of damage, but Brad can actually take that level of damage. Try sleep again. Sleep last ability. Keep forgetting. Red, punch in the belly. We're in spiking Marvel. She's not going to survive that. Nope. And this is where everything goes straight to hell, I believe. which missed. Good. Ooh, crit. Nice. That's what I wanted to see. Took out the belly. That probably means things are going to get so much worse now. Um... Hush, kitten. No? This is probably a good time for first aid, now that I'm looking at it. You said it, Kimmy. Because first aid has a chance of healing enough. It's not a great chance, but it's a chance. You need a 
light rain. Like that one. Guardian, go ahead and equip Justine. I would actually prefer if you had Ender I am instead. Actually, oh crap! I don't have enough. All right. Um. Real gun to the face. And Xeon Rayforce takes out Marivel again. And I can't go through this. Wish I can heal people in the back row! them have enough hit points to be able to survive a hit without the rain. So that means all three of them have to wear the ring. my plan. My plan is to speed up Wilka. Speed her up as much as I can. Makes me wish I had remembered to actually use my crest graphs. Down. I don't think I can target with a slowdown, but we'll find out. Quick. Quick, 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 quick. Right, Loka's going to have to be the one to heal everybody. That doesn't work. So I have to do that every turn. Oh, Cannon's actually faster than Xenon? Xenon? I mean, that didn't work at all. I forgot to actually equip them. Screw it. All right, let's go back to that save state. Marivol. You're currently getting punched in the face this turn. How about you defend? was actually while they were still asleep. Never mind. In that case, status lock. Brad. Brad. Pawn. Punching, unfortunately, will wake the thing up. It's still asleep. It's still asleep. Nice means we throw Luca back in. Luca can actually work on quicking herself. Marivol, status lock. Luca, Brad, launch. Nice crit there. Still asleep. Sweet! Loka, quick yourself! 
Merrillville Stannis blocked herself, I guess. Maybe I should cast sleep again. Brad. Boost a railgun into the belly. Because that makes sense. Boosting railguns into bellies. I think the audio for the game is still a little too high, so I'm dropping it a little more. Still asleep. Okay. In that case, the only thing that makes sense is to hype weapon Brad to death. Um, Marvel, you can skill lock yourself, actually. Status lock, not skill lock. Brad, punch the belly. I don't even know if there's any room left to hype weapon. 36. Well, there was room. Belly's gone, that's for sure. You are still asleep. How are you still asleep? Ah, this is what I meant by a cheese strategy, by the way. Tim can at least do dark damage, so... You are going to... You should get an extra bonus to sorcery. Okay, that'll have to do. Maraval, you have darkness abilities. Get in. Brad Punch. That's almost certainly going to wake up. There's no way it's going to be asleep again. Oh, wait, that's from a different game. Yeah, it's awake now. Okay. Means Tim, go back, swap with Vulka. Vulka, you are just. We're just going to assume we're getting hit by nasty things. Marivel, put that thing back to sleep, please. Brad, continue punching. Honestly, I could probably just cast Might Body on Brad. Maybe I'll do that the next time I get a chance. Although, status lock might prevent it, I don't know. Oh, it's healing, okay. And I'm actually faster than it now. Good to know. That actually makes things easier for me. Are you asleep? You're asleep! Hooray! I wasted a Mega Berry, but that's fine. Um, Might Body. I don't ever get to use this, but it actually makes sense to cast on Brad right now. Because that's all I'm doing is punching. Um... We are going to go back to Armageddon. Brad Bunch. So Might Body is a Berserk spell for reference, but it greatly increases stats, like defense and magic resistance. Doesn't increase strength right now, but we don't need to increase strength. We're punching the daylights out of Xenon. I haven't used the lucky card yet. Please don't die this turn. Okay. And still asleep, too. All right, you are using a lucky card now, before I forget. Marivel, continue your... Armageddon's. Launch. 
get in. You're no longer asleep. All right, because you're no longer asleep, this is a Mystic Mega Berry time. And I'm gonna try to put you back to sleep and also punch the daylights out of you. I forgot, I don't need to do the Mystic Mega Berry. Oh well, too late. I forgot that I'm faster now. Now is actually when I need to do it. All right, reload. This is back when it's still asleep. So I need two lucky card. Marvel. Get in. Brad's punching. Are you asleep? No. Okay. This time I'm going to actually remember that I need to equip the stupid light ring again. See, that would be great to use if I could control which element. Maravil is unfortunately still slower than Xenon. Um, punch. Xenon Rayforce, which does lots. But everybody's still up. You asleep again? You're asleep again! Hooray! All right. Lilka. Mystic Mega Berry. Marivol, you are back to large amounts of damage. Great, nice. You dead yet? You're dead! Hooray! <laughs> this is what I meant by cheesing. I didn't want to, but I think that was the best option. 150k, 250k Gala. Lots of levels, Ambrosia, and the Violator. The Violator being Cannon's best weapon. We are at time, though, so the last two of the hidden bosses will be next time. But before I forget, we're actually equipping the Violator. Weapon for a bounty hunter. Alright, um, let's go ahead and save in Courtly, and we'll pick this back up next time when, you know, we fight the two legendary bosses of the Wild Arms games. Remember who they are? I don't blame you if you don't, it's been a while. <sighs> I'll talk to you next time, Internet. Bum 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 b